children good morning children let me start the second lesson question and answers i have to give take page number 33 this is already one lesson i gave the answers we are going for second lesson now if i complete this remaining answers only two lessons okay take page number 33 take your science textbook take page number 33 first we have to go for choose the correct answer which of the following is curved reflecting surfaces plane mirrors spherical mirrors simple mirrors none of the above so curved surface we can say only spherical mirrors first one option b spherical mirrors second choose the spherical mirror with a reflecting surface curved area sorry curved inward is called concave mirror concave question number b option b the third one the spherical mirror used as a rear view mirror in vehicle is b convex mirror so this choose the correct answer almost everything uh, option is b only i think so so far hmm? fourth one the imaginary line passing through the center of curvature and pole of spherical mirror is called option c principal axis fifth one the distance from the pole to the focus is called option b is the correct answer focal length then sixth one if the image of the image and object distance is same then the object is placed at c option d at c and seventh one this is the last to choose if the focal length of the spherical mirror is 10 cm what is the value of its radius of curvature double the thing so option is c 20 cm first one option b spherical mirror second one b concave mirror third one also b convex mirror fourth one c principal axis fifth one b focal length sixth one d at c and seventh one 20 cm clear now you have to go for fill in the blanks fill in the blanks it's roman number 2 first one the spherical mirror used in a beauty parlor as, as makeup mirror is the spherical mirror used in a beauty parlor as a makeup mirror is concave mirror concave mirror second one geometric center at the spherical mirror is pole geometric center at the spherical mirror is pole the third one nature of the images formed by the convex mirror is smaller virtual and erect smaller virtual and erect fourth one the mirror used by the ophthalmist to examine the eyes concave mirror before consulting doctor we have to go for the ophthalmist only concave mirror and the fifth one is If the angle of incidence is 45, then the angle of reflection is 45. Already we have studied the laws of reflection. 45 degrees. If an object is placed between the two mirrors which are parallel to each other, the number of images formed is infinite. Infinite means what? We cannot count. Clear? So. concave mirror pole smaller 
virtual and erect convex mirror 45 degrees infinite clear now we have to go for match roman number 3 match the following put the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 actually 6 match the following day in the book course it's given only 5 so i'll write both the thing correct answers i'll write on the board match a b both i'll write convex mirror children both the options are that is a part a and part b both are there that is both the sides huh? convex mirror rear view mirror direct answers i'm giving Just copy down the answers. And second one, parabolic mirror. Parabolic mirror, uh, radio telescopes. Snell's law, sin i, is equal to mu. This is mu. sin i by sin r is equal to mu and fourth one dispersion of light rainbow rainbow same word only clear and the fifth one refractive index refractive index Answer is that is not given in the book. That's why I wrote the answer. Clear? U is equal to 5. Refractive index. The question is given, but there is no option. So writing the option by verifying the book. So copy down this. And sixth one is multiple reflection. This is not given in the book. You write by yourself. Multiple reflection. Keratoscope. Actually, Kelidio scope. Clear? So, multiple reflection is not given as well as C by U is equal to C by V is equal to U5. That is not given. So, because of that, I wrote both the thing A as well as B. Match the following, copy down. Clear? Next one, short answers, answer briefly, Roman number 4, answer briefly. This answers, all the answers are given in the book. So, I'll take the, I'll say the page numbers, you just take down the page numbers and write neatly. Clear? Answer briefly, define focal length, define focal length, it's in page number 24. First answer in page number 24. First you take page number 24. Finish taking. The opposite sign. Under the heading focal length. There is a heading focal length. Did you find out or not? Finish taking. Huh? Page number 24 and the opposite sign. The distance between the pole and the principal focus is called focal length of a spherical mirror. Under the heading, the focal length paragraph full. So, from where to where? The distance to mirror. 
mirror clear next one finish marking page number 24 the two sides is there no so opposite side page under the heading focal length next one second answer give two applications of con con concave and convex mirror applications means what uses so you have to see from page number 26 You have to write two uses of concave mirror as well as convex mirror. Take page number twenty-six. Page number what I said, ma? Twenty-six. Under the heading applications of concave mirror, is there? Have you seen? Take page number twenty-six. The first paragraph itself, concave mirror. First two points. Page number twenty six, concave. Hmm? How many points I said? First point and second point. That's enough. What is first point? Concave mirrors are used uh, used while applying makeup or shaving. They provide a magnified image. Or else you can write concave mirrors are used for makeup as well as shaving. Short also you can write. They are used in torches, searchlights, and headlights as they direct the light for long distances. Okay, either you can write detail or else shortly you can write. They are used in torches and searchlights. Then convex mirror, the same after the five para five points of convex mirror, concave mirror. After that, it's given say convex mirror under the heading convex. The same page number. first point and second point the same like only two points first and second point finish marking let me read now concave mirrors are used in vehicles as a rear view mirrors that's enough or else you can write fully because they give an upright image and provide a wider field of view as they are curved outwards second point they are found in the hallways of various buildings including hospitals hotels schools and stores close Till stores only. Till stores. Second point, you no need to write entirely. You just write stores. Finish mark. Okay. Finish marking. Ah, shall I go for other answer? Then third answer. State the laws of reflection. Third one. Third and third question answer. State the laws of reflection. Answer in page number twenty six. children i hope that you all understood understood properly page number 26 we used to do in the during class time also take page number 26 what you have to right now the laws of reflection here page number 26 last paragraph the opposite side the incident ray the laws of reflection are so the last paragraph this is line before the laws of reflection are As follows, it's given like that. The laws of reflection are. Strike out as follows. Strike out it. The laws of reflection are. Write the two points. That's in page number twenty-six. Last, the incident ray, the refracted ray, and the normal at the point of incidence all lie in the same plane. The angle of incidence and the angle of reflection are always equal. You no need to do the diagram; only write the two points enough. First point and second point. Clear? And define the refractive index of a medium. Define the refractive index of the medium. It's in page number thirty. Page number thirty. Okay, take page number thirty. First page. Take page number thirty. Refractive index. Under the heading refractive index, index is refractive index heading. Under this heading, second paragraph, first line. Under this heading, the refractive index three point eight one is there. Did you find out? Under this heading, second paragraph, first line, the amount of refraction of light in a medium is denoted by the term known as refractive index of the medium. Again, just go through 
the amount of refraction of a light in a medium is denoted by the term known as refractive index of the medium that is first line to the amount of from that to till what I say just three lines medium then the last you have to come mu is equal to speed of light in air and speed of light in the medium till that clear let me say again the amount of refraction of light in a medium is denoted by a term known as refractive index of the medium close the bracket then you have to give the formula mu is equal to that is last it's given say speed of light in air c that is speed of light in medium v clear and we have to go for the last short answers state snell's law of reflection state snell's law of reflection this is fifth answer state snell's law of reflection it's in page number 31 page 31 fifth answer Page number 31, I said no. You just take down page number 30 now. 31. Under the heading Snell's law of reflection, that is 3.82. Under this heading, the two points. Snell's laws of refraction, they are given below and all down one. Snell's law of refraction, refraction are are what are the two points there? The incident ray, refracted ray and the normal at the point of intersection all lie in the same plane. The ratio of the sign of angle, in angle of incidence, the sign of angle of refraction is equal to the refractive index of the medium which is a constant. The two points only you have to write. Clear children, any doubt in this? Page number 31, under the heading what is it? Snell's law of refraction. The last thing you have taken, Snell's law of refraction. Next to that you have to write ERER ER and the two points. Is it clear? So, we have completed the short answers and I have to go for detail answer. Detail answer. Let me continue in other class. Till that you just go through any other doubt in this. Hmm? Answer briefly. First one is in page number 24. I said the distance from there to till I said. In page number 26, second one that is concave mirror and convex mirror. Your Here you have to answer for two questions. That is the Uses of convex mirror is 2 point, first 2 point and convex mirror also first 2 point and page number 26 what I said, the loss of reflection, page number 30, refractive, what is refractive index, that is in second paragraph I said from where to where, from where you have to start and where you have to complete. The last answer, as there is no place here I am writing by this side, it is in page number 31, under the heading 3.82, Snell's loss of reflection are, then you have to write the 2 points what is given there. Clear? And the detail answer I will continue in other class. Totally we got how many detail answer? Four detail answers. In this, though I give first a detail answer, you no need to learn the first one. Second one, third one and fourth one are very important. So better you concentrate only in the three detail answer, two, three, four. Clear? Okay, thank you children.